Yeah, look, um, on the night in general, I thought it was a, a fantastic night. Great crowd here in Sydney. Um, the undercard really set the tone for what was uh, a really exciting finish in, in Nikita and Cohen. I think they lived up to to all the hype, all the talk that we, we talked about leading up to it. I think, um, you know, Nikita paid his respects to, to Cohen, but um, I think you, you absolutely have to give credit to him. He is definitely one of the best super welterweights in the country and he absolutely pushed Nikita to bring the best out of him and I thought Nikita was amazing again. Um, I always say that he's the most exciting fighter in the country. He takes us on a on a roller coaster with every fight and leading up to it he talked about um, changing that strategy but he took us on the roller coaster again tonight and um, it was it was an enjoyable outcome um, but it was it was yeah, definitely got the heart rate going at different times, but that's the beauty of Nikita Zoo. He can bring absolutely everything to a fight night and, and entertain the crowd and, and give us all something special to remember. So uh, really proud of Nikita winning his first regional belt as well and um, looking at moving into the world ranking. So a fantastic result. Nikita, when you say you were out on your feet somewhere in the middle rounds, probably six or seven, was it uh, like a fatigue issue or because you were getting punched in the head? Did I say I was out on my feet? In the, in the, on the oh, well, I don't think I meant that. Um, <laughs> you were I was I was in um, I was in deep waters is a better way of describing that. Um, I was never really out. I was just I was facing myself in the mirror, really, just like the I was at like the kind of like the lowest. I was like at knee breaking point, and I really had to dig deep in there. How did you feel your, I suppose, new game plan? It worked in some areas, um, didn't work in others. He brought a game plan that um, kind of surprised me. I was expecting him to be a little bit more backwards fighting and, yeah, it kind of took me by shock, but I made the adjustments and some things worked, some things didn't, and I was glad that... I got him with some body shots to slow him down. How much will that benefit you for what happens next in your career, being able to go mm. through something like that mm. and, and turn around after uh, that? Yeah, I honestly needed that. It was a great wake-up call for the toughness of this sport and the, yeah, the level that I'm kind of stepping into. This isn't um, domestic fights where... <clears throat> There, um, like Cohen was as fit as they come. Mm. Like I was hitting him with some of the harder shots I've ever done, and he just looks at me and he's like, "Come on, <laughs> it's like fuck's sake." <laughs> but yeah, that's again, that's exactly what I needed. I need that kind of test because it's a good introduction into the world that I just jumped into. That's the world rankings. How did it feel at the end? Can you just talk us through your feeling when you were finishing it there at the end? I think, did I get him with a body shot first to slow him down? I think we were in the clinch first, but I remember a couple punches landed and he kind of leaned on me and I just kept throwing more and more hooks. And the moment I heard the referee say, show me something, Cohen, I was, I felt that, okay, we're close, we're close. And I just, I just started unleashing and yeah. Lucky he didn't keep throwing. <laughs> this week you said about your camp was kind of around not every shot needs to be a knockout. Mm -hmm. You pulled it out when you needed to, not on notice, but did you feel like that in there? Did you feel like you Yeah, well, I stayed disciplined in some areas. Um, compared to the sparring, I'd say that was a C, C, C rated performance. I was a little bit more disciplined in sparring, but I think I had more defensive. Uh, sparring partners, so yeah, I wasn't expecting him to come forward the whole time. Yeah, Kuda, you were asked about Zarafa in the ring, you said I'll leave it to my promoter, your promoter says, yeah, let's get it on, what are your thoughts now, at the, is that the, the next step? Yeah, uh, it doesn't bother me, I don't care what happens, the, I'm not a businessman, these are the businessmen, they decide my future, I trust them with my life and soul, and whatever they want to do is what we do. Um, I heard there were like um, Michael's brother punched Tommy Brown, yeah? Tommy Murphy. <coughs> huh? Yeah. He's cut, yeah. 
Um, <laughs> bananas. <laughs> Absolutely bananas. No, I was warming up. Um, I heard everyone in the change room kind of like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? But I was kind of, I was worrying about the mat, the pads. I tore How about would you approach a fight with Ugh, I don't know. I don't even want to think about his name right now. Um, yeah, I don't even want to think about him. Yeah, look, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. You know, I, I, my preference is that what happens in the ring stays in the ring. Um, and that's how it should have ended. Um, what what happens after this now, we'll, we'll talk to What, what happened? Um, the fight ended early, mm -hmm. and then a few people ran into the ring. Why did they run into the ring? I don't know. No one knows yet. Who, know. Whose team ran in first? I think, Tom, I think Tommy came in to assist Tommy Brown, Tommy Mercury, mm -hmm. and then uh, Zarafa's younger brother came into the ring and they and he threw yeah. a punch and hit we'll, Tommy Mercury. We'll, we'll talk through yeah, we'll get, we'll, what we'll happened and, yeah, we'll and, and, you know, <laughs> hopefully the the right action's taken and, you know, we don't want that happening at our events and, and we won't support that happening at our events in the future. Yeah, that's all good. There's been so much, I guess, history between the Zarafa and Zoo families. Mm. Tim's now moved on, he's got bigger fish to fry. But yeah. what about the prospect of... Nikita now stepping up and taking up that challenge. Oh, look, it, it's a it's a real chance of happening. There's no no point hiding it. It's a great domestic fight. Probably the best domestic fight we can have in the country. It's just a matter of uh, getting it to, to work and and looking at the commercial realities of it versus the other opportunities that are already lined up for Nikita. So we're realists. We'll we'll all get together as we always do. Review everything and come up with the best plan forward for Nikita in all aspects and. Michael Zarafa is an interest for us, but there are others also, and so we're in a great position, and we've got great promoters, and uh, showed again tonight, uh, you know, with no limits, we've got opportunities, and I think Michael Zarafa and Akita Zoo would be a great fight. It's just a matter of making that happen in the right time frame that actually works for us. There's nothing contracted, like there's nothing written down on a piece of paper that says <laughs> this fight has to happen. Look, anything can happen. Anything can happen in boxing. A fight doesn't happen until it happens. So, um, I, I really wanted to see a lot from from Michael tonight. I think he he did a lot in the promotion leading up to it. Um, unfortunately, you know the fight was stopped early due to injury, um, and I don't think that we we got to see uh, where he's at now. I thought he fought a lot more aggressively than he did in his previous fights, and. Um, so it showed that he, he really does want to be back and fighting here in Australia. So uh, he wants to be a name here in Australia. And um, the big names here in Australia are, are Tim Zoo, Nikita Zoo, Sam Goodman. And um, so if he wants to fight at, at Super Waterweight, Nikita Zoo, Tim Zoo, they're the guys that you, um, that, that are the kings of the division. They're the, they're the names of the division. They're the pay-per-view kings. Everybody turns up to watch them. So if you want to be known in Australia, you want to get in the ring with them. You're supposed to stay around and a confrontation in the ring. Are you disappointed he, he wasn't here at the end? Oh, I've got no doubt that it, whatever he missed out on, he'll be able to make up for it with <laughs> um, with whatever he's got to say going forward. You know, he, he didn't hold back on anything that he said leading up um, to the fight in this promotion, and and I don't think he'll hold back on on anything he's got to say going forward either. He's a he's very vocal. He's very vocal. He says what he um, believes, and he, he he's got no filter. So he. Um, I'm sure he'll have plenty to say, and, and that's fine. It's fine. It's boxing. We want we want entertainment. We want excitement, and um, Nikita provides excitement with his hands, and and Michael provides excitement uh, leading up. Tim shared your victory on Instagram story, but was he on FaceTime or have you spoken to him yet? No, I just literally, literally just got back. Yeah. Yeah. He he, got, he would have watched it. I'm sure someone would have streamed it, possibly from close to ringside. But, uh, yeah, Tim was um, very confident that Nikita would take care of it, and I think Tim would have been pretty impressed based on the fact that they came through a totally different camp together, and Nikita got a bit of a, a look at what it's like to spar at that next level and put him in good stead for tonight. But, you know, I think Cohen Mazzutia showed us tonight just how much of a champion he is, and he's got a huge future ahead of him, and mm. we, just, we just hope that he comes through the other side and, uh, with all health ticks, you know, so... Yeah, for sure. Like he's um, he's a machine. He's a machine. Keep keep it up, Colin. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, he's got a great future. <laughs> yeah. He really does. And, and a terrific bloke. And, and as, for, as for Michael, Michael's got to deal with no limits, uh, to fight on no limits. And so George is winking at me and smiling at me. So we'll, we'll be chatting uh, as to w whether or not that uh, is next for Nikita. But it's an exciting opportunity for, uh, for the Australian public to stitch that one together. What's your one takeaway from, from tonight, Nikita? Um... Do more body shots, stop punching people in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I guess welcome to the uh, world rankings. Yeah, uh, that was sure. a great introduction into the world rankings. Oh, that's a great introduction. Yeah. Mm.